Hello, fellow high schoolers. It has come to our attention that some of you are lacking lovers. So we are here to help. We have not only researched the basics of love, but we have gone in depth to find out what love truly is. So may we present to you the chemistry behind love. Houston Haley with Science Daily. So I know most of you guys are wondering why we're focusing so much on love. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up, and whenever you guys are sad, we are sad. So we are going to show you why you can trust us and our experiments. This is a heart. A human heart, to be exact. The human heart is about the size of a fist. It weighs around 8 to 10 ounces in women and 10 to 12 ounces in men. The human heart can beat at around 100,000 times per day. Research found that falling in love simulates 12 areas of the brain. Love can be distilled into three categories, lust, attraction, and attachment. Testosterone drives lust. Dopamine and serotonin drives attraction. And that suppression mediates attachment. Is that enough research for us to seem qualified? I don't know, I think we need more science proof. But where would you go? Oh, I have an idea. Where? You know that one place? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. But how are we going to get there? Um, I know. Science. <gasps> yes. Oh, speaking of experimenting, let's check out Lexi to see what she's making. Hey, Jackets. My name is Lexi, and today we'll be getting into the chemistry of cake. Cakes as we know today were first introduced in the 18th and 19th century when yeast was replaced by other raising agents that proved faster and more efficient. They were replaced by eggs and then by chemical raising agents such as bicarbonate of soda. To create a cake you will need the following ingredients. Two cups all-purpose flour, one and one-fourth cups of sugar, one tablespoon baking powder, one-fourth teaspoon salt, one cup of milk, half a cup of canola oil, two eggs, room temperature, and one teaspoon vanilla extract. When it comes to cake, you want your treat to come out soft and fluffy. To achieve this, start with sugar. When oil and sugar are combined, air becomes trapped on the rough surface of sugar crystals, providing a foamy batter. However, without eggs, the air bubbles would pop. Adding eggs allows proteins to harden, preventing bubbles from popping and ultimately avoiding a flat, dense cake. Baking powder is also a crucial addition to keeping your cake fluffy, as this expands and raises the cake, adding another level of fluff. My name is Lexi and this has been Chemistry of Cake. It's done. What is it? A teleporting formula. Uh, can I try? Just in case it's wrong, you're the better anchor, so you'll save the people. And what if it's right? Then I just gave you an amazing package. I mean, I guess that works. Make sure you take care of all the announcements, buddy. Don't worry, I will. I guess it's announcement time. The next SAT is March 9th, and the registration date is today, so make sure you register. ACT and SAT reading tutoring is Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.15 to 3.15 with Ms. Kearns. The next ACT testing is April 13th, and the registration deadline is March 8th. ACT and SAT math prep is Wednesdays and Thursdays from 2.15 to 3.15 with Ms. Heaton. The 2019 Polk County Public Schools Poetry Contest is underway. If you're interested, please contact your reading teacher for more information. All BHS, IB, and Summerlin Academy students are welcome to participate. NHS tutoring is every Mondays and Wednesdays from 2 to 3 in Mr. Clavo's room. Algebra 1 tutoring is Mondays and Wednesdays from 2.15 to 3.15 with Ms. Wilson. I can't believe that worked. What the heck? Well anyways, if you haven't figured it out, I've teleported here to Mosey, aka the Museum for Science and Industry. Let's go check it out. Hmm. 
Moji is a scientific playground with more than a hundred hands-on activities. This tie is from the main landing gear of the shuttle. You can see the round edges from when it hit at 220 miles per hour during landing. Mosey was the first Florida institution to participate in Museums for All, a cooperative initiative that encourages families of all backgrounds to visit museums regularly and build lifelong museum habits. Each year, 10,000 students are impacted by Mosey's outreach program, which takes a mobile science lab, portable planetarium, and much more to any school in Florida. Through Science for Service, Mosey's YES team is a path for kids to grow towards their future with a 98% high school graduation rate. In April of 2016, Mosey launched its most exciting project yet, planning to relocate to a new world-class science center in downtown Tampa. Mosey's relocation will create an iconic institution and a beacon for learning in Tampa's cultural core. During the estimated three to five years it'll take to build Mosey's new future home, the current campus will remain 100% amazing. Whether you come here to explore the planets in Saunders Planetarium, or to check out another world in NASA's space mission, or just to learn some science facts, Mosey is the place for you. But in the meantime, let's go check in with Haley while I try to figure out how to get out of here. Did you miss me? Yeah, it worked. What can I say? I'm a genius. Did you hear that, guys? We're geniuses. Some might even say love experts. Well, I guess that completes the show. Remember not to overreact if you don't get a date. And take it slow and the chemistry will appear. We're your favorite alloys, Kirsten and Haley. Happy Valentine's Day. Love is distilled into three categories. Those three categories are <laughs> an oxymoron. Uh, oxymoron! What? Happy Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah.